Hey folks, what's your top five used, most used tools in your tool bag? I'm an industrial mechanic, maintenance, millwright type operation in a sawmill industrial setting, and I'm going to go over the five, my five top used tools in my bag. Starting out with number one, not really in any order, but one that gets a lot of use, the hammer and chisel. This is an old school operation. You uh, you can set big nuts with that. You can break roller chain. Got to have a hammer for all kind of stuff. Break loose your uh, sprockets off of your shaft, and you get a little just a little taste of rust in there. You want to knock them loose. That's number five. I use that one all the time, quite a bit. Coming in at number four, probably my second most used or fourth most used. Uh, combination wrenches metric and standard use these every day all day long uh, got a socket set sometimes you can get in there but a lot of industrial machines you gotta get down into some places where a socket won't work so it's back to the old turn the wrench so yeah that, number four number four in the setup number three some you use every day Allen wrenches set screws, socket head nuts, socket or socket head bolts. Uh, use these all the time. You can again, the old school sometimes it's the only way you got. You can get a a uh, Allen head ratchet uh, socket adapter you can set on a ratchet and get in there sometimes, but sometimes you got to just get the long reach, get down there and knock it out. Open her up. That's number 3. Number two is a toss-up, really. So I guess it's six things, but uh, slip joint pliers. This is the Knipix alligator with just the slip without the button. Uh, I use these. That's my go-to pliers. And then the lineman's pliers. And there are 1,001 uses on that. Knipix also. Um, I'm really picking up my Knipix game lately and that's pretty much all I get anymore. They're quality, they last, they feel good, they don't have that play like you'd get in the some of your store brands you see a lot. But yeah, always using a plier somewhere. If you gotta cut something, you got the cutter, the grips, you can plumbing, you can grab a pipe with that thing or move a shaft, all kind of good stuff with that. That's number two. And of course number one, the old Klein 11 and one Impact. Probably my favorite tool in the whole setup right now. I use this thing to death. Comes out, you got nut drivers, you got screwdrivers. Change your bits out if you want. Most used, number one tool right now for me. The old 11 and one Impact. There you go. That's the top five that I carry right now. Now, sure, I got a whole bag full of other stuff, but Every day, I'm going to put my hands on these at least once. All these items. So, recommendations. Get the best stuff you can afford for your tools. I mean, they're going to last uh, a lot longer, especially if you're using them every day. You get some, some junky things that they got a lot of play in them. They'll, they'll come apart on you. You don't even like messing with them. It's a joy to work with tools that you know actually fit good and work good. Proto, Knipex, Weha, Klein. That's a Wilton hammer. Amazingly, that little hammer, it's two and a half pounds, I think, two pounds. Does a lot of work. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know your top five tools in the comments. We'll uh, do a head to head one day or something if you've got something different. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.